hi guys, um, back again for another week, uh, this week uh, I've decided uh, I'm going to do a product review of a new pair of headphones that have just been released by Aftershocks, um, they're called the Open Loop, um, the wire completely wireless Bluetooth headphones, um, brain construction to headphones that don't actually go inside your ears, so they're perfect for running. Um, because you can still hear your surroundings. Um, anyway, let's crack on and get this box open. Okay, so I think these headphones retail for about £79 roughly, which for wireless headphones is really reasonably priced um, if you use the wireless earbud headphones, for example. These um, go for about £120. So £150 you can pay upwards of that as well, so they're pretty pricey. Um, so going back to the open move uh, aftershocks, they're really reasonably priced. So as you open the box, um, you obviously get the headphones themselves, um, you get a pair of just earbuds, you also get your accessory pack which the uh, earbuds come in, you get a charger as well. Uh, just the wire, not the, not the plug, so you will have to supply your own plug. This is not an issue, it's reasonably easy to get. You can get them anywhere for a pound shop for a quid. Um, so, yeah, brilliant. Um, so, anyway, let's get that out of the way and look at the actual headphones. So, they are very, very sexy headphones. Um, really light, so let's get them on. Um, so like I was saying before, they don't actually go inside your ears, they go where your ear canal is on top. They've been designed this way, so you can still hear your surroundings, and also it stops slippage out of your ears, which is a pain in the bum. Don't know if I can relate to a lot of otherness, but I hate having things inside my ears. It's just really uncomfortable, but these, they just sit nicely, really comfortably on the top of your ears. Um, so yeah, and they don't even touch the back of your neck, so you're not having to, you know, you get that itchy feeling where there were wires and stuff. There's none of that, it's all clear, it's fantastic. Um, so yeah, they're great headphones. Um, so, the power buttons, okay, so there's two power buttons. There's the... Um, uh, obviously to turn them on, wait for that to happen, okay, so they're on, okay, so they'll light up, we've got a little light here to tell you when they're on, um, so I'm going to put them on now, um, so, and it'll tell you when they're connected, it's got a clear notification to tell you when you've turned the headphones on or off, so, fantastic, um, so yeah, now they're off, and it'll tell you power off. Another great feature is you can actually control your music from your headphones so you're not having to reach out for your phone or any other device on the run, which means you can concentrate. So we're going through the comfortability of the headphones. Um, I've been using them for about a week and a half now. Um, I did a 16.5 mile run today, show sure clip that. So the run started quite relaxed and got steady towards the end. It was absolutely blowing a gale. It was peeing down with rain and everything, and the headphones stayed on my head, really stable, so comfortable. The reason I think you should, you know, go for a pair of aftershocks or a pair of bone construction headphones here, that plugs basically that don't go in your ears, um, is because, well, for one, when you've got these in your ears and you've got them going full blast it's you know you can't hear anything else that's going on around you so one they're really dangerous um two you're uncomfortable three they're easy to lose you place one of them you've got one headphone not great these harder to lose they stay together comfortable um, the price of them is fantastic, the sleek looking, the modern, you know, the all, all round next gen of 
if, if you listen to music when you're running, training, next gen. So yeah, that's the aftershock guys. Have a look, see if you like them.